ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಟೆನ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟು ವರ್ಸ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಸತ್ವ ರಜಸ್ತಮ ಪ್ರಕೃತೆ ಋಣಸ್ತೆತ್ತ ಪರ ಪುರುಷ ಏಕ ಇಹಾಸ್ಯದತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಥಿತ್ಯಾ ಹರಿವಿರಿಂಚ ಹರೇತಿ ಸಂಜ್ಞಾ ಶ್ರೇಯಾಂಸಿ ತತ್ರ ಖಲು ಸತ್ವ ತನೋ ನೃಣಾಂಸ್ಯು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ರೇಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶೀಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ is indirectly associated with the three modes of material nature namely passion goodness and ignorance and just for the material world's creation maintenance and destruction he accept the three qualitative forms of brahma vishnu and shiva of this all human beings can derive ultimate benefit from vishnu the form of quality of goodness perfect by his divine grace is bhakti vedanta swami shila prabhupada that lord shri krishna by his plenary parts should be rendered devotional service as explained above is confirmed by this statement lord shri krishna and all his plenary parts are vishnu tattva or the lordship of god godhead from shri krishna the next manifestation is baldeva from baldeva is santrasana from santrasana is narayana from narayana there is the second santrasana and from this santrasana the vishnu purusha avatara the vishnu or the deity of the quality of goodness in the material world is the purusha avatara known as sirodatsai vishnu or parmatma brahma is the deity of rajas passion and shiva of ignorance they are the three departmental head of the three qualities of this material world creation is made possible by the goodness of vishnu and when it requires to be destroyed lord shiva does it by the tandav tandav nritya the materialistic and the foolish human beings worship brahma and shiva respectively but the pure transcendentalist worship the form of goodness vishnu in his various forms vishnu is manifested by his millions and billions of integrated forms and separated forms the integrated forms are called godhead and the separated forms are called the living entities or the jivas both the jivas and godhead have their original spiritual forms jivas are sometimes subjected to the control of material energy but the vishnu forms are always controls controller of this energy when vishnu the personality of godhead appear in the material world he be, comes to deliver the conditions living and beings who are under the material energy such living beings appear in the material world with intention of being lords and thus they become entrapped by the three modes of nature as such the living entities have to change their material coverings for undergoing different terms of imprisonment the prison house of the material world is created by brahma under the instruction of the personality of godhead and at the conclusion of of her kalpa the whole thing is destroyed by shiva but as far as maintenance of the prison house is concerned it is done by vishnu as such as the state prison house is maintained by the state anyone therefore who wishes to get out of this prison house of material existence which is full of miseries like repetition of birth death disease and old age must please lord vishnu for such liberation lord vishnu is worshiped by devotional service only and if anyone has to continue prison life in the material world he may ask for relative facilities for temporary relief from the different demigods like shiva brahma indra and varuna no demigod however can release the imprisoned living being from the condition life of material existence this can be done only by vishnu therefore the ultimate benefit may be derived from vishnu the personality of godhead thus end the prati vedanta
Following is the lecture on Srimad Bhagavatam 1st Canto, 2nd Chapter, Text Number 23, given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, recorded on 26th of August, 1972 in Los Angeles. material world means the three qualities. Material world is going on and the three energy, energies. Sattva, Raja, Tama. We have explained several times we see varieties of living entities, varieties of trees, Varieties of everything. Anywhere you go, you simply find varieties. Some of them you like, some of them you do not like. So these varieties are due to these three material modes of nature. Sattva, Raja, Tama. So when creation has taken place, so the things should be managed properly. So Krishna himself he expands into three forms for management. One form is Lord Vishnu, one form is Lord Shiva, and the other form is Lord Brahma. Uh, Brahma creates Lord Vishnu maintains and Lord Shiva destroys. Because in the material nature you cannot have anything permanent. That is material nature. It is uh, just like the flash light when you pass through roads and avenue, there are three lights red, blue, and yellow, they are passing through always. Not that the blue is always existing, or red is always existing, or the yellow is always passing, simply. That is the nature, material nature. Here everything is born. That is called srishti, uh, creation. Everything is creation. Uh, that is our experience. Everything is created and it is maintained for some time. Just like my body, your body is created and it will be maintained for some time. But at the end, when the body is old, it will be destroyed. This is material nature. Uh, some of the Philosophers, they say, there is no such thing, creation or destruction. Everything is existing uh, always. Uh, that we also accept. That everything is existing always means uh, Krishna. And Krishna, the creation, is going through three stages. The creation taking place, it is being maintained for some time, and again it is destroyed. These things are going on. There's the same example. The lights, flash lights, uh, the, they are coming and going, but the puller of the lights, behind the light, uh, he is existing. Similarly, the Creator is existing, but not the creation. Creation is coming into existence, this is staying, and again, second. But the Creator is there. Asamagre. Lord Krishna says that before creation, 
I was there. Otherwise, who will create? Before creation, I was there. Uh, while uh, creation is maintained, I am there. And when it is destroyed, still I am there. So in three stages, Krishna is there. In the past, present, and future. Therefore, He knows everything. If under my direction something is going going on, I created something, it is maintained, and it is destroyed, I am seeing, or I am ordering, uh, then I am always existing. I know when it is created, when it is maintained, and when it is destroyed. The Krishna knows past, future, present, and future. Uh, <coughs> Krishna does not mean alone. Krishna means there is another kingdom. Uh, just like when you speak of a king, it means the king is not alone. There is queen, uh, there is palace, there is bodyguard, there is secretary, there is commander in chief, so many things. Uh, just like in England, there is Queen Elizabeth. It does not mean that Queen Elizabeth is alone. She has got so many paraphernalia. Similarly, when you speak of Krishna, Krishna means his name, his form, his quality, his activities, his pastimes, his friends, his mother, his father, his cow, cows, his Vindavan, so many things. Uh, that is another variety. And here this material world, this variety, this variety is imitation of that variety. And that variety is eternal. This variety is created, maintained, and destroyed. But in the middle, the point, Krishna, He is ever existing. Uh, that from the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Urdha Mulam Adho Sakha. Uh, yeah, you know, just like a tree standing on the shore of a reservoir of water, you will find the reflection of the tree downwards. Everything is top to side. The trunk, the root is on the up, and the foliage, which is on the up, that has come down. Similarly, this material world is described in the Bhagavad Gita, 15th chapter, Urdhamulam adho sakha. Generally we see tree, downwards, root, but uh, in the reflection you will find the roots upward. Uh, therefore, urdha ulam sakha means these material varieties are uh, simply an imitation of the original variety. Just like I will give you a very nice example. Just there will be a great fair. Just we had in this Allahabad, Magh Mela. So because government knew that many people will come to take bath in the Ganges, confluence of Ganges and Jamuna, all of a sudden a great city practically was developed. Those who have seen, uh, so many houses, camps, electric light, post office, everything, uh, temporary, created. But as soon as it is maintained also, so long the mela, the fair is going on, and as soon as the duration of mela is finished, all people go away, and the uh, temporary township is also demolished. Uh, that you have seen. Similarly, uh, <clears throat> in this material world means it is a kind of fair, assembly of so many men. Uh, uh, what is the purpose? The purpose is to give them chance 
That's the magma life, a chance to become purified, to become pious. Uh, they take bath in the Ganges, they become, get an opportunity, an auspicious moment to take bath. See, it is like that. There are living entities who are eternally conditioned, and there are living entities eternally liberated. The eternally liberated souls, living entities, they are with Krishna, they are dancing with Krishna. Uh, because they have no other desire than to satisfy Krishna. That is the difference between eternally conditioned and eternally liberated. Eternally liberated means they have no other desire. Uh, all these gopis, all the cowherds boy, all the cows, all the trees, all the water, all the father, mother, friends, they are simply trying to satisfy Krishna. That is Vindhava. They have no other business. Oh. Oh, that is Binda. The central point is Krishna. And here, in this material world, everyone is trying to satisfy himself. His center is he himself. Oh, therefore, he is exploiting others, he is cheating others, he is making so many things, bluffing, because he wants to enjoy himself. That's all. This is the difference between spiritual world and material world. Uh, if you want to satisfy yourself, your senses, that is material. And if you want to satisfy Krishna, Krishna's senses, then it is spiritual. This is the difference. So either do it here or go to Vaikuntha, Goloka, do there. The business is the same. So, this is a chance. These conditioned souls who have come to this material world to enjoy senses. They are giving chance. They are giving chance. All right, you enjoy. Uh, you want to enjoy as human being. All right, take a body of human being. If you want to enjoy like a tiger, all right, take a body. If you want to enjoy as a demigod, all right, take a body. Krishna is so liberal. Take. And enjoy as you like, but you'll never be happy. Uh, that is the crucial point. If you want to be happy, then surrender unto me. This is the point. You cannot manufacture your happiness. That is not possible. Uh, therefore, this is, this creation is there. Try to understand why there is creation. This creation is a chance given to the conditioned soul uh, how to uh, come to his senses, that living entity, that he is eternally servant of Krishna, part and parcel. His only business is to satisfy Krishna. Uh, so here is a chance. If we don't take this chance, then again the creation will be unloved, it will be destroyed. Uh, Again, there will be creation. Again, another chance will be given. This is going on. Bhutta bhutta praliyate. And the Bhagavad Gita is said. Bhutta bhutta praliyate. It is manifested sometimes and maintained for some time and again destroyed. Now, uh, the original person is Krishna. Now, to maintain this creation, he expands himself into three. Hari, Birinchi, Hara. Hari means Vishnu, Birinchi means Brahma, and Hara means Lord Shiva. Hari, Birinchi, Hari, Ti, Sangha. But just like the Mahavadi philosopher says that then if Krishna has become Hari, Birinchi, and Hara, three, so I can worship anyone? Uh, no. Uh, that is hinted here. Sriyangsi tatra khalu satyatano ninangasu. But if you want your ultimate good, then you take shelter of Vishnu, satyatano. 
not Shiva, not Brahma. Yes, clearly. Said. If you want, because your conditional life is due to your disobedience to the Supreme Personality of God. So unless you surrender unto Him, you again become obedient. There is no question of your goodness or your good or fortune. That is not possible. That is explained here. Sriyangsi, if you want, Sriyangsi means we want really ultimate benefit of your life, then Satyatano. Eh, Satyatano means Vishnu. You have to take shelter of the form of the Lord who is representing Satogun, goodness, eh, not the Rajagun, not the Tamagun. Eh. If you take to Rajagun, Tamagun, then tadarajastamo bhava kamalu bhadayaschaje. Then you will be influenced by two qualities, namely greediness and lust. That's all. You will never come to your senses. Uh, you will be carried away by these two modes of material nature. Uh, Bhakti Muna Thakur therefore said, Mayarabhase jatcha bhese khatcha habu dubu bhai. My dear brother, you are being carried away by the waves of this material nature, two modes of material nature, and you are being harassed. Sometimes you are drowned, sometimes you are up. So, Jiv Krishna Das Evishas Kalletar Dukhana. If you simply believe that you are eternal servant of Krishna, then there is no more carrying out. No more carried out by these uh, two things. Lusty, lust and greediness. Uh, uh, therefore, it is advised here that Tatra uh, Sriyangsi Tatra Khalu Satra Tanu Ninang Su. Uh, our ultimate benefit uh, rests when he takes shelter of the Satra Tanu. Uh, but, but, Why Lord Shri Krishna with his plenary parts shall be rendered devotional service as it is explained above is confirmed by the statement by this statement. Lord Shri Krishna and all his plenary parts are Vishnu Tattva or the Lordship of Godhead. From Shri Krishna the next manifestation is Baladeva. From Baladeva is Sankarshan. From Sankarshan is Narayana. Again from Narayana there is the second Sankarshan. And from this Sankarshan the Vishnu Purusha Avataras. The Vishnu, or the deity of the quality of goodness in the material world, is the Purusha Avatara known as Kirodakoshai Vishnu, or Paramatma. Brahma is the deity of Rajas, or passion, and Shiva, for ignorance. They are three departmental heads of the three qualities of this material world. Creation is made possible by the quality of passion and endeavor, it is maintained by the goodness of Vishnu, and when it is required to be destroyed, Lord Shiva does it by Tandav Nritya. The materialists and the foolish human beings do worship Brahma and Shiva respectively, but the pure transcendentalists do worship the form of goodness, Vishnu, in his various forms. Vishnu is manifested by his millions and billions of integrated forms and separated forms. The integrated forms are called Godhead, and the separated forms are called the living entities, or the jivas. But either the jivas or Godhead, both of them have their original spiritual forms. The jivas are sometimes subjected under the control of the material energy, but the Vishnu forms are always controller of the material energy. When this Vishnu defines between ordinary form and Vishnu form, Ordinary forms, they are controlled by Vishnu. Nitya nityana chitana chitana eka bhuda vidudhati bhuna vidudhati. That is the Vedic Indian. When Vishnu or the personality of Godhead appears in the material world, he comes to deliver the conditioned living beings who are under the material energy. Such living being appears in the material world with intention of lording it over falsely 
and thus becomes entrapped by the three modes of nature. As such, the living entities have to change the material coverings for undergoing different terms of, inter of imprisonment. The prison house of the material world is created by Brahma under instruction of the personality of Godhead, and at the conclusion of a kalpa, the whole thing is destroyed by Shiva. But so far maintenance of the prison house is concerned. It is done by Vishnu, as much as the state prison house is maintained by the state. Anyone, therefore, who may wish to get, it, to get out of this prison house of material existence, which is full of miseries like repetition of birth, death, diseases, and old age, must please Lord Vishnu for such liberation. Lord Vishnu is worshipped by devotional service only. And if anyone has to continue the prison life in the material world, he may ask for relative facilities for the, from the different demigods like Shiva, Brahma, Indra, Varuna, etc., for temporary relief. No such demigods can, however, release the imprisoned living being from the conditioned life of material existence except Vishnu. As such, the ultimate benefit may be derived from Vishnu, the personality of Godhead. Just like uh, one is a prisoner, so if he uh, pleases the superintendent of prison, he can get some little <coughs> facilities. Uh, I have seen practically that one young boy, he was in prison for some criminal act. So he was typing in the office of the jail superintendent. So that means uh, he was educated, but he was put into the ordinary prison term. He was breaking some stone, but uh, he satisfied the jail superintendent that I am not accustomed to this, I can serve you in some other way. So he saw that he's educated, he knows, all right, you come to my office, just help me in typing. So this facility uh, one can have, but not release from the prisoner. That is not in the power of the superintendent. Similarly, all the demigods, they can give you a temporary facility but they cannot give you relief uh, from this uh, prisoner. Abrahma bhavana loka punarabhattina arjuna. People are going to heavenly planets and our planets are just like they are going to the moon planet. But they are again coming down. Uh, again coming down. Either by machine or by creative activities, you can be transferred to her planetary system, but again you have to come back. You cannot get release. If you want to get release, then you have to come to Vishnu. Uh, then you will get release. Suddhanti prabha Vishnu vinava. Vishnu can do. Haring vinana miting taranti. This hari. If you uh, do not surrender to hari, then you cannot get release from these four principles of material life, namely birth, death, old age, and disease. You cannot get. That from the Bhagavad Gita, it is stated, Kamastasta hitagyana jajanti annadivata. Hitagyana. Hitagyana, those who have lost their intelligence, they are influenced by their uh, lust and greediness, they worship different demigods to get some material, temporary benefit. Therefore, they are called nostrils. His real problem is how to get out of this entanglement of repetition of birth and death. But he doesn't care that. He thinks, oh, yeah, now I am living in this way. If I live in a palatial building, then my problem is. That is not your problem, sir. Solution of the problem. That is not solution. But people are very much enamored by this temporary material. Uh, therefore, they are called by Krishna as Nostabuddha, Hitogyana. The actual knowledge is lost. Uh, the real thing is, just like in the jail, the same example. The boy was given a little relief instead of breaking stone. He was allowed to type in the office. That does not mean 
His problem is solved. His problem is solved when he is out of the peace. That is. But that the superintendent of police cannot be. Uh, that will be given by the government. Similarly, if we want to get relief from this prison house of material existence, we must take to Krishna consciousness. No other method will relieve us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.